Hi, I'm George, the Weather Dad, and it's time for your 4th of July holiday weekend forecast. Unfortunately, it looks like Mother Nature is going to have her own fireworks for a good portion of us right here in the Midwest, especially the Ohio Valley. Now, temperature-wise, we're in July, so it's going to be warm, it's going to be muggy, and here on Wednesday, it definitely shows that. A little bit cooler up into the Great Lakes. Very hot in this area here. Uh, heat indices well into triple-digit range. By the um, Independence Day itself, take a look, a little bit cooler. Uh, when I say cooler, once again, it's relative to normal high temperatures. Yellow represents normal temperatures. We're going to be a little bit cooler because of some clouds and some rain and showers right here in the Midwest and even the Ohio Valley. Uh, up towards the west and up and towards the north, you see another little L up there around Minnesota. This is the strongest of the two systems. The first system is there, and it's going to produce a, a frontal system, and it's going to stall out there in the Ohio Valley, and that's why we're going to be seeing some showers and thunderstorms. By Friday, you can see it getting really wound up, much cooler up into uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota. That's going to push the next system through. May warm up a little bit right here in the Midwest in the Ohio Valley ahead of the next system, but again, we are looking for some showers and thunderstorms by Saturday. That cooler air certainly works its way in. And once again, when I mean cooler, probably high temperatures more in the lower 80s, a little less humidity. And then on Sunday, we start warming up again here in the Midwest. But here comes another system in for early part of next week. Very hot and humid across this area and out towards the West. Precipitation, that's going to be the key. Our picnics are going to be dry or are they going to be wet? Well, this is on Wednesday, and here's that first system coming through. It's not that strong, but it's going to produce some showers and thunderstorms right here in the Midwest. Could see a few uh, stronger thunderstorms there in the Central Plains. Here on Independence Day, look, take a look what happens. This system's producing rain across the Ohio Valley, maybe even a little bit further south. This is the stronger one of the two. Could see some severe weather between these next two systems. I think the main problem will be strong gusty winds and some very heavy rainfall as we will see some showers and thunderstorms. Now this is for Independence Day. Now those of us right here in the Ohio Valley, it looks like you're going to have a better chance for seeing showers and thunderstorms a little bit further north, let's say towards Indianapolis and Chicago. <laughs> Your chances are going to be a little bit less, but there still will be some showers and thunderstorms around. And then this next system will be coming in on Friday. You can see that here as it really gets wound up. Here comes the next system. And I think that might be our best chance for some severe weather right here in the Midwest. Some much needed rains down into the southeast. Tropical storms still down around Florida, drying out nicely or staying nice and dry off to the west, but also pretty warm at that point in time. Saturday, that system pushes its way through, drying out here in the Ohio Valley, a couple showers around uh, the Great Lakes region. Got a little disturbance there in the Gulf of Mexico, nothing really to worry about at this point in time. Sahara dust, conti dust continues to keep things down to a minimum, except, except for Hurricane Burrell that went through the uh, Caribbean, currently going through the Caribbean, but it's gonna weaken as it moves towards the uh, west. Then here on Sunday, you can see some heavy rains there around Texas. A really nice day on Sunday. Uh, lots of sunshine, temperatures uh, rebounding to about normal, which would be mid to upper 80s right here in the Ohio Valley. But here comes the next system for next week for the Midwest, and it's going to give us some more showers at that time. So have a safe and happy 4th of July weekend. Keep your rain gear handy because Mother Nature will be supplying her own form of fireworks. 